But first, a little stopover in San Francisco to see our friends Janine and Julian. Beautiful, beautiful San Francisco. And here's John at the bottom of the famous Lombard Street, where there are eight hairpin turns. And this is the Julian's Happy Place. <laughs> I am driving across the Golden Gate Bridge. And now we're about to walk among the redwoods at Muir Woods. This is after a 17 and a half hour flight. <laughs> starting today with the news. <laughs> it's a good thing we don't know what's going on probably. <laughs> The Killing Field were established by the Khmer Rouge from 1975 to 79. They killed about 2 million people, all rich, intellectual, religious, or anyone opposed to the communist regime. We met Sun Ricky, who survived the Holocaust. Now, this is time for a tuk tuk ride.
These intricate carvings represent 37 levels of heaven and 37 levels of hell. I think we climbed to level 36. Taking a little fun ox cart ride through the countryside. They're also called water buffalo. Next up, we went to a fruiting village fishing community. We visited this amazing flower market in Bangkok. Flowers are very important to the Thai people. You can see them on trucks, on boats, in doorways, in restaurants. They pretty much pay homage to Buddha and show respect everywhere you go. Plus, they're very pretty to look at. This giant reclining Buddha represents the entry of Buddha into Nirvana and the end of all reincarnations. Happy New Year! <laughs> We were able to go to the top of the highest building in Bangkok. From there, we sat on a glass floor and were able to see the entire city of Bangkok, as well as a beautiful sunset. floating down the Mekong River to visit the Summer Palace and some temple ruins.
Welcome to our beautiful hotel room in the city of Luang Prabang. It sits right next to the Mekong River. We even had some water buffalo outside of our door. That evening, a group of local villagers greeted us with a welcome ceremony, which is meant to protect us and keep us safe during our travels. It was lovely. They tie silk cords around your wrists and give you small blessings. Look at the big fish. Yeah. Help me to put the pan up beside me. But the location, and if they got enough space, they would turn it into the guest house.
Yeah, they, they, they pick it up from one bus. Then they prepare this plan and then come down here with the young ones. Nope, we're not at Disney World, though it looks like it is. It's calcium that makes the water this color. Beautiful. After Harang Bay, we went back to Hanoi and we took a cyclo ritual ride in a old court of Hanoi in the middle of the traffic. That was kind of frightening, but a lot of fun.
a local chef took us for a walk through the wet market before our cooking class. She told us that Vietnamese people tend to shop three times a day for all of their meals. Very fresh stuff. We made four delicious recipes, a chicken salad, a vegetable spring roll, grilled beef and banana leaves, and a spicy steamed fish. Yum. Hitting some traffic on our way to the Ho Chi Minh Chung. What a mess. Special delivery. And you know, for um, ironing the leaves over here, it also requires a lot of experience. If we are not very careful with that, we might cook it, right? Or we might break it. This is the prison that was called the Hanoi Hilton by the Americans and where John McCain spent five and a half years as a POW. All right, everybody is still in one piece and now it's time to go home.